Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gabriela. Hello, how are you? Very fine. Just, just finish my dinner. Just finishing. Finishing my dinner. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, really? What did you have for dinner? Oh. Tortita de lote. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. And I ate a early dinner, a elote loco. Oh, really? Yes. Sí. Eh, there was really, really, really delicious. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, not that much because I'm not that good about for those things, to be honest with you. Not oh. really, not really, really my thing. Excuse me, eh, oh, sí, sí, sí. A ver, me imagino. Desde el momento en que dijo que no le gustan las pupusas. <laughs> yeah, those things are not good for me. They are like, ah, uh, pupusas. Christian, So, how see? was your day? Well, today was my day off, and uh, eh, Hacienda give me bad news. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, eh, bueno, me estoy inscrita, inscrita como persona que declara IVA, y durante los últimos tres años no he declarado IVA, supuestamente. Oopsie. Uh -huh. Entonces, para que me paguen la evolución de la renta, tengo que pagarle yo a ellos lo que no he declarado. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, in my case, uh, I gotta pay. I pay every year. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Estaba, estaba como en esa canción tan alegre que venía y tan triste que me voy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the feeling, I know the feeling. So, that was at noon. Y ahí en la tarde me mojé. Oh, really? Oh. It was raining? Yeah, about... Eh, bueno, no, sería cerca de las tres y media, cuatro. Around 3.34. Around 3. Yeah. So. 3.30 or 4, yeah. Yeah, the same happened to me. I mean, uh, well, actually I was in the motorcycle and I, I had to face a storm. Me imagino, King Magic. So. Yeah, it was a little bit terrible, but you know, what can we do? So I was in my way into my house, mom. Is it? My mom's home. Uh huh. My mom's home. Okay, my mom's home. Because I have a little cat of three months old. So oh, really? yeah, I need to change the sand and give give her uh, some food. 
Oh, really? Mm, that's nice. So you have to go take care of the cat. I like cats. They are nice. Do you want it? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> no, I like cats, but uh, they don't like cats here. Oh. So sorry. Yeah, you know. They don't like cats in my house, but anyway, I like them. I used to have one. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, give her uh. an adoption. Hmm. Why? Cats are nice. Yeah, because in my action in uh, in my actual casa. Okay. In my house, in my uh, house, in my house, I can, I can take, uh, ¿cómo sería? Cuidar de ella. I can take her. I can take her. So, for that reason, I'm I'm looking for give her an adoption. Yeah, that's so bad. That's so bad. But, but it's so precious. I can imagine. I like cats. They are nice. I also like dogs. Yeah, I... Uh, uh, two más. Two uh, more? Yeah, no man daughter. Mm. But... Yeah. I, I give uh, in adoption. I gave, I gave them in adoption. I gave them, I gave them in adoption uh, almost one month ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a couple of cats. They were nice. I have a Siamese cat. That was the female and the male, I don't remember. Mm, yeah. Eh, no recuerdo. Eh, como las adopté de la calle, no, no, no tengo una raza para decirle eran de tal raza. Yeah, but cats are cool. I like them. Bye, Gabriela. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Braulio, hello Braulio, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I have a diner. Oh, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy, I'm enjoy. Dying. We will talk later, okay? No problem, no problem. Brian, hello, Brian. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm just fine, just fine. How's everything? How was your day? Perdón. How was your day? Oh, you still on your way home? Todavía de camino? No, 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 yes, yes, in class, yes, in class. Okay, how was your day? Como se podría decir? Un poco pesado. A little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. Al, al link. Let me text it for you. A little bit heavy, like this. A Oh, 
no, really, why? Too many things to do? ¿Cómo? Muchas, muchas cosas por hacer. Yes. I ask you this. Me pregunto yo esto, ¿no? Many things to do, muchas cosas para hacer. Well, yeah, you know, that happens. Uh, the same happened to me. I had a lot of stuff to do today. Welcome to the class, Brian. Nice having you here. Let's see who else is around. <laughs> Ana Maritza, good evening. Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? How are you this lovely day, Ana Maritza? A very nice, a very nice day. All right. Yes. Mm. Can I ask you why? Yes. Tell me why, why do you say it, it was a nice day? What's the reason? ¿Por qué dice que fue muy bueno? De de brunch, no no. De brunch, lunch, do to two of the rooms and please. Mm. Wow, that's great, that's great. Bueno, Ana Maritza, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. <laughs> Who else is around? Hey, Atenas, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm so tired. Oh, really? You're tired? Why? What did you yes. do today? Um, check the email. Uh -huh. My account certified documents and very, very documents. Um, Many very, documents. 36. Oh, really? Many documents. Mm. That happens, that happens. I mean, sometimes, uh, some days are heavier than others, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I understand you totally, totally. My eye yeah. closes in this moment. Really? <laughs> Your eyes are closing right in this moment. Well, you know, uh, I am tired too. I had a heavy day today. Yes. I had a pretty, pretty heavy day today. Because in my case, 
uh, in my case, I had to go early to to the university because uh, my my son had to enroll at the university and it was it was a lot of work and I had to come back and I had to also go go enroll myself. Me tocó también unirme, matricular. So it was it was difficult. It was a heavy day for me too. Very busy. Yeah, it was quite busy. I was quite busy and uh, well, you know, first going to the university to Universidad El Salvador and he needed to turn in some documents. Then we had to come here and I had to go to the bank to, to, to pay my, my to pay my enrollment for this semester and then I had to to, to, to enroll my subjects and ah stressful. Yeah, and you know my semester starts uh, this coming Saturday. I start classes. So it's gonna be fun because next week I have to receive classes Monday, no Monday, no Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. In the university, the classes you teach, or no. I am taking. Yeah, I am taking another career. I am studying another career. I'm studying another career. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I used to teach at solía dar clases. Well. I was teaching for a while at Pedagogica, like for 10 years. Then I was teaching at uh, Don Bosco. And, but now I am teaching just uh, with adults, con adultos, just online. And some private classes, algunas clases particulares. And I decided to enroll. Decidí reingresar a la universidad to take, uh, I am studying administration. Yeah, you know, because I, because I didn't have nothing to do. Como no tenía nada que hacer. I was bored. Nah, nah, but it's, it's good. I mean, it's just... It, it's a hobby. Yeah, it's interesting. It's quite interesting. But we will see. Because I'm just missing uh, three semesters. Solo me faltan tres semestres. Ya sé. Finish. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's fast, it's fast. It's fun. But uh, this, this, uh, this semester I have to take uh, accountancy. Aunque va contabilidad. And, well, last semester I had to take uh, statistics. Statistics was not my cup of tea. <laughs> Look at this expression. It wasn't my cup of tea. That means it was not my favorite. Eso quiere decir no era de mis favoritas. See? That's the meaning of that phrase. Well, Athena's nice talking to you. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Let me see.
Let's see who else is around. Katia, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, very, very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. How was your day? Um, very good. Um, bueno. Uh, today, say so several. Today, I, I work uh, part time. Oh, that's nice. Katia, Yes. <laughs> Vine temprano a casa ahora. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. You could. Después. Yes, tell me. Después se dice, I come to sleep. Vine a dormir. I came to sleep. I came to sleep. Well, it depends. Because, because I imagine that you took a nap. I imagine that you took a nap. Yes. Sí. <laughs> right. In, uh, in afternoon, um, take coffee. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Y después diner, diner, pupusas. Okay, I have pupusas for dinner. En inglés se dice para. I have pupusas for dinner. Okay. Y I am happy here in classes. <laughs> well, we are happy to have you here in classes. Welcome. Okay. Sí. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Katia. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Marvin, hello, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Okay, okay. And tell me, how was your day? Very excellent day. Today is my rest day and trail and practice for why I'm face sleeping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, today was your, your resting day. That's nice, that's nice. Yes, very good. <laughs> okay, you were sleeping, you told me, right? Me cuenta que estuvo durmiendo. Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's nice. How long did you sleep? One hour, two hours, three hours? Six. Six. Say what? Six, Six hours? Wow, that's a lot. One, uh, From one. Six. Okay, you say it like this, look. Lo decimos de esta manera. Excellent. ¿Cómo dice? From one, two, six. From, desde, to, hasta. From one to six. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. If I do that, man, I couldn't. Yo no podría. If I do that, I wouldn't <laughs> sleep at, all, at night. No duermo todas las noches. Y me levanté a las once, ¿cómo se dice? Oh my gosh, you have slept all day long. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, it depends. Todo depende. If you tell me, I, I woke up, I woke up, es, me desperté. I woke up. I got up. Es me levanté. Ah, pues sería I woke up. Is. 
You sí, woke sí. up at 11. You woke up at 11, exactly. Give me a second. That's great, that's great. I don't know, you know, the only, I just, I just know two persons who can do that. Solo conozco dos otras personas que pueden hacer eso. One is, one is my wife and the other one is my sister. My sister can do it like you do. Mi hermana puede hacerlo así como usted. Well, no, I think she can sleep more because I have seen her, la he visto a ella, waking up just for food and going back to sleep. Oh. For real. And I am like, wow. <laughs> And, and I mean, going back to sleep with a big, big, uh, uh, mm, let me remember this word, give me a second. I need to remember one word because I know it, I know it, I know it. Uh, oh, it's this, with a big quilt, quilt, like this, look. Mm with a big quilt. And I mean, when I say quilt, I mean edredón. Oh. Because, because uh, uh, a sabana is a bed sheet. Repeat. Bell sheet, bell sheet bell is sheet. sabana. Oh. Ah, no, si me, aquí si me pongo sábana me coso. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. Uh, she doesn't have that problem. Ella no tiene ese problema. And she sleeps a lot. I don't know how do they do. It's terrible oh, for me. Good. I wouldn't. <laughs> very good. I sleep like... El uh, coffee. El coffee ya, teacher. No, I am punished. Me tienen castigado. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> it's so sad. I stand triste. But anyway, what can I do? Oh, el co eh, ¿Cómo sería? El coffee is... Super rico. ¿Cómo it's, sería? It's delicious. Ex, excelente. Siete tacitas al día o ocho, lo más. Yeah, around seven or eight. Yeah. Yes, exacto. Only one teacher. One what? One cup of coffee. Who said that? Quien dijo eso? Punto menos. No, no, Atena, ¿qué ha dicho? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hay un no, Atena. Six uh, a night en, en el día. Sí, en... No. A day, a day, you say six, a day. No, my friend, I have like seven or eight. Well, thank you very much, Marvin, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Angelica, hello, good evening, how are you? Oh, well, I'm sorry, Angelica, give me a second. I need to get the attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. 
Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Hey, that's Claudia. Welcome, Claudia. Present. Welcome. Thank you. Elisa Saray Martínez Ramírez. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Desiree Menjibar de Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Thanks. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Hello, Milton. Welcome. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Thanks. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Okie dokie. Give me just a second. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Esmeralda, hello, how are you? Hello, good teacher. Good evening, how are you? Um, for this week, I'm my other good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Frank is speaking. Um, uh, I am very good. Okay. You are very good. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Did you have a good day? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Yes. Okay. What did you do today? Yeah. Work. <laughs> Work uh, at a story at, at the six o'clock at eight o'clock. I am here. <laughs> Sorry. Always English. Okay, okay. Well, you were quite busy. Muy ocupada. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah. Uh, la que... <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Mm. If you feel that's not that much, that's great. Oh, to be young again. If I went on set right? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, me, I feel like uh, I'm dead. No, I uh, I am going to sleep. <laughs> ah, come, uh, on. I, I, <laughs> come on, look. Look, Esmeralda. I woke up at 5 a.m. Uh, at 5.30, I was driving to San Salvador. Uh, I had to take my son to the university. Then I had to go change the, the battery of the car. The battery died. 
he died on me. Then I went to pick him up at the university. Then I came home from here, from my house, I went to the bank. From the bank, I went to the school. I was teaching all the afternoon. From there, I came back home uh, around five. It was raining. I was in the motorcycle. So I, I came, put the car in, went out in the motorcycle, came back in the motorcycle at five, uh, put the motorcycle in the garage, took the car out, went to the gym. I came to from the gym at 7.30. Now I'm here in class. I am dead. You are like nothing. Don't worry. You're young. Okay. Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. You know? But that's part of the day. I mean, all of us have different uh, uh, responsibilities. And um, according, according to our job, I mean, like uh, for me, teaching yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of hours, but I don't feel it that stressful. El dar clases son muchas horas, pero no siento tan estresante. So, uh, I mean, yeah. that's that's an advantage. The same goes with you guys. Lo mismo explica para ustedes. I mean, if you're good at selling, for example, I mean, you perhaps work a lot, but it's not that stressful. Quizás trabaja mucho, pero no es tan estresante. Imagine me. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it's not like, but it would be different me doing your job. I mean, if I had to start doing your job tomorrow, I would come home there. Si yo comenzar a hacer su trabajo mañana, vendría moviendo. Because it's, a, it's something that I don't like. So I don't like it at all. Or, or imagine me reading contracts, analyzing contracts like Atenas. I will be like feeling my health to explode because they have to check every single detail. Then imagine she signing and sealing paperwork all afternoon. I will blow my head off. It's, as I told you, it depends on, on your areas, depending on what you do. Because, I mean, if you at least like what you do, you feel comfortable with what you do. I mean, you can have a long day, you can feel tired, but not that stress. Puede sentirse cansada, pero no tan estresada. Wish, there's a difference, you know? There's yeah. a big difference there. Because in my case, I tell you, sometimes I feel very tired, but not that stressed. I get stressed when I have to do paperwork. That stresses me. When I have meetings, oh, I hate meetings. I get sleepy. <laughs> oh, no. I have a question. Yeah, uh, tell me. Um, ¿Cuántas horas da clases? ¿Cómo se diría? Okay, One. well, you gotta understand something first. Uh, how many hours? How many hours? How many hours do you teach a day? How many hours do you teach? A day. A day. Ooh. Okay, now, some, something, something that you gotta understand is this. Most of the time, a teaching hour is, a teaching hour is 45 minutes. Usually, normalmente una hora clase de 45 minutos. I mean, it's very, I mean, it's rare some focus, the companies that, that I ask you for one clock hour, una hora reloj. Like Insafor asks us for clock hours. Ellos nos piden hora reloj. But usually a, 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 teach, a teaching hour is 45 minutes. So let's see how many, five, 10, sometimes 11, 12, 13, 
around 12 or 13 hours a day. Let's see, no, 10, yeah. Between 12 or 13, 12 or 13 per day, okay. al día. Okay, Stand. You work, um, uh, wait, pardon, sorry. Uh, Usted trabaja solo en in Sephora? No, no, no. I also I also teach at a public school. También enseño en una escuela pública. And I also teach uh, private classes. También doy clases particulares. And I teach at a small academy on Saturday mornings. Los sábados por la mañana doy clases en una academia with little oh. kids, con niños. And I also teach. Uh, well, that's sometimes, a veces. Sometimes I teach a TOEFL preparation course. A veces doy clases de preparación para el TOEFL. It's, it's more, it's more harder. Small. It's harder, it's harder. It's harder. Yeah, the, the TOEFL preparation is harder. Oh, but that's good money. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, oh, look at this. I charge more. I charge more for that hour. Por esa hora, por esa hora cobro más. Oh, wow. So oh. I, get, I get happy when they ask me, hey, can you teach me, can you prepare me for TOEFL? I get like, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I am pretty happy. <laughs> okay. It's very, it's very easy the exam exam uh, because the TOEFL. Huh? Yeah, the, the exam that that test is tough. It's very tough. Um, it's very tough, but it depends because I mean uh Depending what do you want it for, depende para que usted lo quiera, because remember that those type of uh, certifications, it's a certification. Actually, those certifications just last for two years. Eso le sirve uno solo por dos años. I mean, after two years, you need to take it again. Después de dos años, usted debe, si lo, se lo piden en una empresa o algo, you have to take it again, hay que tomarlo de nuevo. En serio, no dura bastante. No. Oh, okay. no the same mm. happens with toy. TOEFL. TOEFL is one. It's one certification. Mm -hmm. Toy is another one. TOEFL, TOEFL uh, refers to English in general. TOEIC is more like a business focus. The TOEIC se enfoca más a negocio. Oh, wow. you, gotta, you gotta read a lot. Yeah, but actually for me it's TOEIC, for me is easier. Para mí es más fácil. Because I mean the biggest part is reading. And I am not that bad at reading. You know, so I'm not reading. Uh, TOEFL, it's a little bit harder because you get uh, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The four basic skills. Todo le but it's, yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, and you need to make certain average of points to, to get it. Hay que llegar a cierto puntaje para obtenerlo, para probarlo. And... As I tell you, uh, it depends what they want it for, depending para que usted lo quiera, because sometimes, depending what do they want it for, they ask uh, they ask you for a for a certain uh, score. Le piden una puntuación específica or a minimum or minimum. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, but not, uh, but I don't need the turf. Or type? Tofu? 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 Tofu?
what you just need is uh, to be proficient and fluent in speaking and you need uh, good typing skills and you need a good typing skill because the exams you make at a call center are like uh, first you have a conversation you have a, an oral exam after the oral exam if they feel you you get the level after that they send you to do a a reading comprehension exam, you gotta read, analyze questions, answer those questions, and then they give you a text and you have to type it in a certain amount of time. You can get it out and that's it, that be Oh my God. <laughs> after, after that, if you, if you approve those exams, they make you an offer of the account they want you in. Luego le hacen a uno la oferta de que para qué cuenta lo quieren mandar. And then they train you. Y luego lo, le dan este, la, el training, la formación. Depending on the, on the account, they, they train you what you're going to answer, how you're going to answer, talk to the people, the, the basic or problems you can encounter. I mean, they give you all the info you need to give the clients. They give all the information that you need to the client. Actually, you have a list of situations and answers. Mm -hmm. And you are like answering to the people, you are with a computer and you are filling in information. It's not a big deal. But uh, as I tell you, it depends on the account. Because if you are in uh, selling, area you can make good money if you understand the area of ventas for a call center you can make good money and if you are for um uh, airlines airlines pay you well las aerolíneas las cuentas de aerolíneas pagan bien but training is harder uh, training is harder let's see la última vez i mean last time they offered me one it was for six weeks, a six week training. And training the six semanas. And no, no, no. Because I don't like the, I work cause and I don't like. Don't you like it? <laughs> don't you like it <laughs> don't you like it? Mm, no to be honest with you uh, i enjoy teaching and ah well okay. and for me it's less stressful teaching rather than working in call center para mí es menos estresante eso mucha razón <laughs> yeah and i mean you know, and the salary, the salary was going to be good, but the 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 impasse we had was the schedule for the training. Realmente, the impasse que tuvimos fue el horario para training because I needed to be on training during the day, and I was applying for a part time. But and the training was all day long. El entrenamiento era todo el día. And I had a part time. Y yo tenía solamente half a day break. Solamente tenía la mitad del día libre. Difficult. Yeah, but but to be honest with you, uh, I don't feel that that much attractive. And and yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good salary, but it's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. So my salary, pero hay mucho stress. But as I tell you, for me, some people enjoy it. I mean, last module I had some students that they were in call center and they were so happy. El último módulo tuve varios de call center y estaban felices. I mean, it, it must yeah. be on the person. It must be on the person. Ahí depende de la persona. Some people yes. really, really enjoy it. I am work at the code center. I like the uh, uh, attendee. 
Yeah, to attend people. And then yeah. in the car, I like more. Uh, I see with, I see half the other the person uh, mm -hmm. in front, in front. Yeah. It's more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, well, as I tell you, it depends on the person. In my case, no, not really, not my thing. But a lot of people like it uh, and enjoy it, and it's a good opportunity. You can make good money. Esmeralda, nice talking to you. Oh, thank you. I like to oh. talk in for, with you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. According to my lesson plan uh, for today, I still got time. Let's see. But we are still missing one exercise from the book, from unit three. And then at nine, we are going to start working with unit four, okay? So let me give you the exercise. What we are going to do is continue yesterday's exercise, okay? Okay, guys, if you remember, yesterday we did these two exercises, right? Now we are going to do this one. Okay. We need to do the, the, the exercise related to this vocabulary. What is that vocabulary? And you need to tell me the word or the words and the definition, what do they do, okay? So let's see. I'm gonna send you in groups. You're going to have five minutes to do the exercise. Remember, it's unscramble, the ordenar las letras, unscramble the words, okay? Let me check just a little something. Okay. Groups are created. Please jump in. Let's do it. Not there. I got you in two devices. I tengo on dos aparatos.
Control de supervisión. De un gran cruz y gran máquina de Sí. Financiero, material. Kit de financial report. Creo que el 6 es el 3. Vaya el 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. El número 2 es develop, design new o improve existing. Ese es. Ok. Y. El. Or is marketing, ¿verdad? Mhm. Uh -huh. Creo que es la 1. Marketing es la, ajá, R6 en el R6 o R6. R6. Uh -huh. En el científico, el customer, one, ajá, eso es. Ok. Y la 6 sí. creo yo que es la 3, pero no sé. Es la A con la 6. Sí, A con in, in finance. Sí, la 3 es Kit de Finance. Financial Record. Ajá. Financial. 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 Oh, se escucha. No lo veo. Ok. Listo. Finish. What do they do? Va, entonces, cuando nos pregunten, decir cabal. La, Teacher, la, la, la. the other group tiene one, two, one, three, and five. No, the same. Lo mismo, one, three, and five, we did it yesterday. Eso lo hicimos ayer. Ah, ok. Improve o improve, improve and develop design new. Improve. Improve existing product process. Marketing. Bueno, ya terminé. ¿Finish? Yes. Great.
Okay, let's see. Number two, please, Atenas, tell me what's the word and the definition. Number two, research and development. 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 Yep. Develop, design, new or improved exit exit product or process they develop design new or improve, improve existing 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 products or processes very well done excellent gabriela number four Marketing. Uh -huh. uh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Ah, espérame, me poncho. Ah, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Perfect. Just remember, identify, identify. Okay. Can you now, repeat? The most correct way will be identify. Ade ¿Cómo? Identify. Identify. Yes, that T, esa T, no sound, okay? It doesn't identify. have a sound. Identify. Okay. Identify. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Now let's see. Angelica, tell me number five. My pronunciation. No, no. no, don't worry, don't worry. Go ahead. Uh, accounting and finance. Finance. Uh, uh, skip the financial record of transaction involving monetary inflow and outflow. Okay, very well done. Accounting and finance. Finance. They keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. You pronounce very well. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Now, 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 now. We got us a very interesting exercise. Do you remember that yesterday? We were working with uh, prepositions. Let's see. Look in the, look in the, what's that? Do you remember that? Yes, Esmeralda. Sure. Uh, I share the, in, the image of the propositions. Por favor, puede compartir de nuevo la imagen de propositions que mandó ayer de in, on, y no sé cuál. Ahí se las puse. Ah, ok. No, es que yo ah, borré todo el WhatsApp. Y o sea, oh, solo me parece yeah. que ha puesto eso. Ajá, no la imagen. Ok, let's see. Let's do some. Ok, eso. Gracias. No, oh, somebody help me. Great. <laughs> Gracias. Great, great, great. Ok. Let's see. Oh, 
Perfect. Thank you, Gabriela. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, now we got more prepositions of place. Those ones are like the, the very basic ones. And if you remember, if you notice, si ustedes se dan cuenta, by the way, did, you, did I get the second attendance? Ya tomé la segunda asistencia. Okay, let's do it now before I get into that topic. Hagamos ahorita antes de que me meta el tema. Okay, let's see. Hello, guys. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Enter. Thank you. Present. Elisa Saray Martínez Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Elisa. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Guadalupe Salaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sirem Enquivar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present, teacher. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Okay, let's see. Mm. Let's Just one second, guys. Okay. Perfect, thank you. So, uh, okay, thank you, Esmeralda, for letting me know. Let me share with you. Let me compartir this. Oh no, let's do it like this. Okay, the first exercise, el primer ejercicio, look. I'm gonna give you the instructions. The instructions are the following ones. Ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and its location. You're going to work in groups. You're going to ask your classmates where they work, donde trabajan, and the location of it. Where do they work? You know, right? You start assigning the trabajo because it's the, the same company in this case. But the location varies. La ubicación, la locación, Maria, right? Because some of you are in the office, some of you are in Sonsonate, some, um, some of you perhaps in Santana. I mean, 
It's different. Okay? And you're going to mention yours. What are you going, how are we going to do it? Okay? Let's see. In the groups, we're going to recreate groups. Okay. In group number one, Angelica Guadalupe, Atenas, Elisa, Karen, and Katia. Okay, in group number one, Atenas, you are in charge of asking your classmates, okay? Where do they work and the location? Y donde se ubica, okay? In group number two, Ana Maritza, Braulio, Claudia, Gabriela, and Marvin. Gabriela, you're in charge of asking. In group number two, three, I got Esmeralda, Catherine, Maria Teresa, and Milton. Let's see. Okay, in this group is... Hmm. Catherine, you are in charge of the questions. Catherine va a las preguntas. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Hola. Hello. Vamos a que estamos nosotras dos nada más. Estamos de señal. Teacher, solo nosotras dos vamos a trabajar porque mi well, no está conectado. Yeah. Esmeralda se ha levantado un momento. Ah. She's also here, pero se ha levantado un momento, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Milton tiene problemitas con el self. Ah. Ok. Entonces solo entre nosotras dos para mientras, ¿verdad? Yep, yep. Ok. Okay. ¿Verdad, Ticha, que es sobre como la ubicación de dónde está nuestro lugar yes. de trabajo, la dirección? Where do you work? I work at the pharmacy, I work for home, I work at Pharmacy La Vida, and it is located in, y está ubicado en. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero se puede hacer en un solo párrafo o hay que hacer, hay que hacer, formular la pregunta. Up to you, depende de ustedes. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Porque tenemos que decir como la dirección, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Voy a poner un instante. <laughs> si no hemos empezado. <laughs> ah, vale. Entonces, eh, where do you work? Uh -huh. Sería una. ¿Dónde trabajas? Sí. Y va uh -huh. a decir ahí en tal lugar. 
Y la otra sería este. ¿Dónde se where, ubica? Where, ¿Dónde? where is location? Yo pensé que le iba a hacer en la misma pregunta. Así Ajá, como en la misma pensé también. En location. Ah, para no vaya. hacer dos preguntas. Where do you work? En. Oh, location. 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 <risa> es como eh, la ciudad. ¿Dónde ¿verdad? trabajas y, 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 y dónde se ubica? Y where, where location. Y su ubicación. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Sí? Where do you work en where location? En location. Mm, yo creo que sin where, siempre. Solo en location. ¿Dónde trabajas y ubicación? Solo así diría en español. Creo que así es, Ay, sí, Vaya. Vaya, Angelita. Ahí vamos a este. Atáquenme. Comience usted. No, usted tiene que preguntarme. Ajá. La... Where do you work in location? Oh, I work in, in farmacias la vida. En location of East in the world of Colón, Libertad. Diana. Así sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <ríe> Cuando dice que eso no sé si no está. Está bien, no está bien. Probar sería. I work in Grupo Homi SASB. Where is the location? Is is in San Marcos. Que ver. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta para, para decir que trabajamos eh, en, la, en, en, en la ubicación? Eh, ahí es donde yo tengo duda. Mm. Provecho. I, I work. No, I'm not eating. I'm just munching uh, my my. Ah, okay, okay. My God, estoy peleando con una silla. You know, I'm, I'm biting my, my, my tongue. Últimamente me están moviendo la lengua. That's for why. stress. Yeah, that's weird. Let's see. Uh, you need yeah. the complex B. Yeah, but I don't like shots. Pero no me gustan inyecciones. It is located in, so be time. Espérese, espérese. Escríbamelo, por favor. Write it, please. Write it, please. Come on, Gabriela. In your case, I don't accept Spanish, okay? Why, why? Nope. Why? <laughs> Whenever you talk to me in Spanish, I will be deaf to you. Cada vez que me hablo en español, usted me voy a estar sordo. That's not fair. <laughs> yes, it is. No, because I speak a, a little bit. Huh. It is located. Okay.
Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh. Elisa, hello. Hello, Fisher. Tell me, Elisa, where do you work? I work in Farmacia La Vida. Okay, where, where in which branch? Where is it located? Hmm. It is it's in a circle. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. Braulio, where do you work? I work in Farmacia La Vida. Okay, where is it located? Where is your branch? It is location in San Marcos. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, Atenas, where do you work? I work in Grupo Homi. Okay. Or Homi Group. Grupo Homi, that's the name. Tell me, uh, where is it located, your office? Uh, the locator is uh, San Salvador. Okay. In the San Salvador offices. Yes. What about you, Angelica? Where do you work? I work in Farmacias La Vida. Okay. Where is your branch? What? Where is your branch? Donde está su <laughs> branch? Branch. Agencia. Okay, the uh, the branch está in in Lourdes, Colón. Okay, perfect. Let's see. What about you, Katia? Where is your branch? Um, so, um, in Soyapango, San Salvador. Oh, really? Excellent, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, see you. Now, why are we working with this? Let me share with you guys, let's see. Okay, listen to your teacher, read the following places from the map. We are in your manuals in page number 20, 39. We have a bank, mall, restaurant, a 
Okay, look. Bank, mall, restaurant, sport palace, park, arrows company, school, church, city hall, book world, Barrios Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue, Roosevelt Street. I repeat, bank, mall, restaurant, sport palace, park, arrows company, school, church, city hall, book world, Barrio Street, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue. Okay, now, taking into an account the map, you need to tell me which street is the restaurant on, which street is the city hall on, which street is the park on. Okay, you need to answer. How? You're going to make your answer saying, it is in or it is on, okay? It is on in this case, okay? You need to answer those three questions. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. Here we go. Okay, you're gonna work in groups. You're going to have just two minutes. Van a tener solo dos minutos. Because this is, well, three minutes, three minutes. This is quite easy. Three minutes is just super fast. Te lo muestro. Según yo, tendría que ser así. Parece que esta cosa me cuesta que me enfoque. Espérenme, así. Iris. Mm -hmm. Iris located in ah, Roosevelt okay. Street. Uh -huh. eh, la otra the parte. restaurant, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street and ah. Avenue. What? What? But. Sí, que calle. Que calle está en la ciudad. Oh. Sería. Can you repeat, please? Because I, uh, I have a doubt. Hey, Marvin. The restaurant is on Rose, Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. En la number two, sería mm. the city hall, the city hall, whatever. Mm. Second Avenue. First Avenue. Second. Second. 
The restaurant. The city hall is on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. It is located. Mm. Mm. Please, please, please. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Honey. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. The city hall is on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Okay. La calle es la calle que está sobre el parque. Ah, the park is between. Okay, so yeah, um, the park on First Avenue and Sikon Avenue. Okay, well, the park is, you can say, the park is between Second and First Avenue. Between, quiere decir, entre. Between can Second write and First between? Avenue. Uh, be, como between, be, be. Teacher, can you write between, please? No, you know what I will do? I will spell it for you. It's not fair. Yes, it is. <laughs> Spelling is good practice for you guys. So, B. B. E. Yeah. T. Yeah. W. Yeah. E. E N. E. Uh, uh, M. W. Between. 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 Yes. Like this. Look in the chat. Hay que. Depende que quizás como lo veamos. Porque está no. between. Yes, between. <laughs> between second and first. Between all the stream entre todas las calles. Between the avenues or between the streets? Uh -huh. Between second and first avenue or between uh, Roosevelt Street and Barrios? Entre todas ponemos que están en medio de todos. Está entre, la, entre las avenidas o entre las calles. Ah. Decídense por cuál van a utilizar como referente, ¿ok? Entre todas okay. está ese medio. No, sorry, but when you are giving an address, you don't give it like that. Cuando se está dando una dirección, no la da así. En el centro, en el centro de una calle. O menciona una calle o una avenida o menciona las calles o las avenidas. Las personas profesionales, yo digo, está ahí a la parte de algo. <risa> ok, you, got, you look for a point of reference. Don't worry, no te preocupes. We will do an exercise. You will give me addresses and other directions. It's gonna be beautiful.
Okay, okay, let's see. Let me share guys with you. Okay, look, number one, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Number two, the city hall is on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Or you can say this, the city hall is on Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue is the same. In this case, in number three, you got two options. The first option is the park is between Second and First Avenue, or you can say the park is between Barrios and Roosevelt Street. You see, whichever of the two options is correct. I am sure you had it that way. Estoy seguro que esa manera lo tenía, right? Yeah, yeah, excellent. Any question? Preguntas? Teacher, mm, question. Yes. Eh, el, el on decía usted que se, que se usaba para, para superficies, ¿verdad? Oh. Yes, but si usted se para, fija, si se fija en el WhatsApp, en la, en la mensaje, Braulio, si se fija en el yeah. WhatsApp, en el mensajito que reenviamos hace un rato, que una compañera nos reenvió, cuando tenemos el triángulo, ahí nos dice que el on se utiliza también para streets, calles, en avenues. Si ve ahí a la derecha, aparece en rojo, ¿verdad? Aparece on, dice more specific, small. Y se refiere a calles en avenues. On es una preposición de tiempo y también lo es de lugar. Cuando lo usamos de tiempo, quiere decir, se refiere a días, semanas. Pero cuando lo usamos de lugar, se refiere a la superficie de algo pero también específicamente se usa para streets and avenues. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect. Thank you. I just sent you the, the, the image I just shared with you. No problem. No problem. Ok, guys. Let's see. Let me share again with you. We go back to the manual. Okay. How to use simple prepositions of place. Vamos a comenzar con las más fáciles. On, in, at. On 4th Avenue. On the corner. On the street. If you notice, we are using on to talk about street or avenue. Lo estamos utilizando para... La calle o la avenida, on the corner, en la esquina. In, look, it's a little bit bigger, and es un poquito más grande. In El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Now, if you remember, si recordamos, If you remember, guys, we have, oh, I'm sorry, Karen is going to close. If you remember, when we use in, we use it in general. We talk about a country, a city, or a neighborhood. 
que utilizamos para un país, una ciudad, o a, a neighborhood, un vecindario. ¿Ok? At. In the case of at, is very, very specific. Es muy específico. We use at. At the meeting room. At work. At the bank. Lo utilizamos para un lugar específico. But also we use it for addresses. Pero también lo utilizamos para direcciones. Okay? Don't forget this. Don't forget this. Because we are going to use it. No lo olviden porque lo vamos a utilizar. Okay? Now let me share with you in the group. I know that for some of you is easier. Sé que para algunos de ustedes no fácil to check it. Just like that, small. Okay. But enough of that. Tomorrow we are going to make exercises. Mañana vamos a hacer ejercicios. Okay. Okay, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about hobbies? Today we're going to continue talking about hobbies using just one WH question. We're going to use just one WH class. Okay? The questions we are going to discuss are this one. Which hobbies are the most expensive? The most expensive, lo más caro. Which hobbies are the cheapest? ¿Cuáles son los más baratos? Which hobbies cost nothing at all? ¿Cuáles no cuestan nada? Which hobbies are the most popular in your country? ¿Cuáles son los más populares en El Salvador? Okay? Those four questions are the ones that you are going to be answering. In this case, you are not going to ask each other. You are going to discuss and get an idea as a group. Acá no se van a hacer las preguntas. Las van a discutir y darme una idea. An answer per group. Okay, una respuesta por group. So you got which hobbies are the most expensive, the cheapest, which one costs nothing at all, and which are the most popular according to yourself or to your group. Okay. So let's see. The breakout rooms are. Um, Okay, groups are open.
The hobby, the hobby, the mod. The most expensive. Eat restaurant, ¿verdad? Braulio, ¿usted para qué se me dijo así? Sí. Eat, eat restaurant. El IVA, que usted dijo que el más barato sería escuchar música. Listen to music. ¿Y ¿Cómo es, teacher? Listening to music. Listen to music. Listen to music. Listen to music. No necesito ponerle um, listening. Bien, gente. Sí. To music. Es necesario armar toda la respuesta, así como de hobby, de más, de no, 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 Vaya. Después dice el pasatiempo que es más costoso. El pasatiempo más costoso es que viajar a otros países. Sí. No, es siento yo que es más costoso cuando andan visitando otros países. Ahí se pide travel. Oh, yeah. Traveling to another country. Travel to another country. Travel to another country. To another country. To another country. Y después, eh, ¿cuál es el pasatiempo más popular en tu país? ¿Cuál piensan ustedes que es? Playing soccer. Mm. Yes, yes. Playing soccer. Eh, pero no sería practicar un deporte de eso. Se podría decir que es un... Yeah, practicing sports. Well, it depends. Okay. It depends, Braulio. Depende. Because my son practices uh, kickboxing. Mi hijo practica kickboxing. And believe okay. me, that thing is expensive. Y créame, eso es caro. Ah, ok. Pues sí, yo no, creo que... Entonces, which movies are the most expensive? Es el más, el más económico. No, más expensive decíamos que era el más, uno de los más caros. Que um, dijimos que y uh, restaurant, comer en restaurante. El uh, de los más baratos dijimos que era y uh -huh. restaurant. Uh -huh. La segunda, el más barato, listening to music. Listening to music. La tercera dijimos que era travel tron de la country. Y la cuarta, el más común, playing soccer. ¿Usted sabe, ya lo anotó también, Eli? La cuarta, dijo. Una, dos, tres. La cuarta, play in soccer. Play de soccer. Mm, sería la más popular. Ajá, jugar fútbol. Sí. Y la antepenúltima habíamos puesto travel, travel to other countries. 
antepenúltima, donde dice Ajá, cosas, ¿no? Un de los más costosos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Viajar a otros países, ¿va? Sí. Viajar a ver tú. Okay. Mm, les pregunto sí. para que me para que veamos si lo podemos pronunciar bien. Uh -huh. Vaya. A ver, a usted le pregunto primero, que decía, which hobby are the most expensive? The most expensive. Lo que habíamos puesto en la primera. Y te ves ahora. Ajá. Okay, let's see, let's see. Maria Teresa, tell me. Hi, Maria Teresa. Which hobbies are the most expensive for you? Um, number one, go to the beach. And okay. number two, go to the shopping. And oh. number three, go to the restaurant. Yeah, those Very expensive. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're going to a restaurant, going shopping. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Expensive. Nice. <laughs> what about the, the cheapest, Maria Teresa? Um, number one, go to the park. Number two, listen music. And number listen three, into what? Music. listen into music. Listening to music. No, listen to music. Let me see. It listen goes like this. Music. Listening to music. Listening to music. And watch TV? Watching TV. Watching TV también. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Catherine. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Catherine, which hobbies cost nothing at all? Es la uno. Mm -hmm. Number three. Three. Um, Play onion puyer, puyer, algo así me han puesto con mis compañeras, que era jugar, es jugar arranca cebolla. Oh, no okay. sé si algún día lo jugo. No, those were not my things, eso no era lo mismo. But now tell me, eh, which hobbies are the most popular in your country? Um, pues. Acá en son se podría decir que play bingo. 
Okay, for you being interesting. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Atenas. In your case, tell me what's your opinion? What do you think is the most expensive hobby? Which is the most expensive hobby? Mm, the hobby ma most expensive are racing cars. Yeah, it is. It is expensive. Very expensive. Okay, what's the cheapest? Um, play the jack. Okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And tell me which hobbies uh, are the most popular for you? The hobby most popular are play soccer. Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Playing soccer. Yes. Mm, interesting. Well, thank you. You're welcome. No, oh, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Okay, guys. Well, time's up. It flies. Let me get the final attendance, please. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present teacher. Karen de Sirena Chivarda Sánchez. Present teacher. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. En Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Teacher, you didn't say my Thank name. You. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Okay. Well, guys, very nice having you here tonight. I expect to see you, all of you, tomorrow. Please have a good night. Was a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good no, don't do that to me. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, una question. Yes. Eh, con lo de la plataforma, hasta qué, hasta qué nivel tendríamos que haber desarrollado ahorita. Ok, un segundo. Tendríamos que ir nosotros en la sección Tres, vamos con, let's see. Ah, venga, ya le digo, para ser específico. Tenemos que tocar, oh, no, este, toda la sección tres, porque hoy iniciamos la sección cuatro. La sección tres sería hasta la página, 
del manual. Ahí le menciona también va por secciones, por unidades. En el manual ah, okay. es, en el manual es hasta la página 38. Página 38. Ya. Yeah. Sección 3, ok. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Oh, yeah. Tengo varias que no me han hecho la sección. Entonces, I will remind them tomorrow. Like Maria Teresa. Oh, no, you finish. You finish. Yes. Maria Teresa in section one, you just got 80%. What happened to you? No me la completó la sección, no se saltó algún ejercicio. Sí, lo hice, pero yo no sé por qué, no sé si, es que no sé si por error después le di como comenzar de nuevo y no sé si me la tomó como que no la haya hecho. Mm, quizás no le dio submit. Quizás porque yo sí la, la hice todo y de ahí me... But you can do it again. Pero puede hacerla de nuevo. La puedo hacer de nuevo. La sección... El sistema, el sistema le va a tomar la nota más alta. Pero, ¿cómo la tengo que hacer toda completa otra vez? O el ejercicio que le falta. Solo ese ejercicio, porque yo la vez pasada lo hice y de ahí me, me redirecciona como a, a volver a empezar todo. No sé si tengo que empezar desde la 1 hasta la 4. No, 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 no. You just repeat the exercise that you're missing. Usted solamente hace el ejercicio que le falta. Okay. Ah, ok. Me sería de, del 1, me dijo, ¿verdad? De la... Ok, let me see. Vamos a ver. No lo... Let's see. No. Mm. Veamos. No, pero el ejercicio 1, usted lo... la sección 1 la tiene completa. No sé qué hice. <risa> Debería tener... Hola. I will check it tomorrow. Lo reviso mañana y le cuento. Va a estar bien. Y, y entonces no me puedo meter como a trabajar ahorita. Yes, yes, you can, you can, no problem. That's not a problem. Ese no es ningún ah. problema. But advance on the other one. Puede hacer el ejercicio de la 4. No toque la 1 todavía. Okay. Ah, bye, bye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Are you working on your cell phone or a computer? ¿Está trabajando en tu celular o computador? Pues una parte, un día la hice de mi celular, pero de ir todas las sesiones la venía haciendo desde la compu, siento que me sale más fácil trabajar de la okay. compu. Okay, perfect. Necesito que guarde this address. Ok. El, el enlace que me mandó, ¿sí? Yes. Ah, ok. I need you to open it. Necesito que lo abra. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, scroll down. Los, si usted se va hacia abajo, va a haber videos A to C, B to H, va a haber videos de la C, de la B a la H, right? Uh -huh. Or you can go a little bit lower, by un poquito más abajo y le aparece Men's Health. Vamos a poner un ejemplo para que sepa lo que va a hacer. Okay. See video activity. Click on see video activity. Ok. Click on see. Um. 
No veo esa parte, teacher. Teacher culture videos, men's health. Hay uno que se llama men's health. Ya lo encontró hacia abajo. Vaya, ahorita está donde dice men's health, sí. Men's. Ok. Abajo de donde dice men's health dice sí, video activity. Mm. Watch this video on men's health. And ok, ok, ok. Vaya. Es. Usted abre, eh, usted... Le voy a explicar cómo lo voy a usar, no lo va a hacer ahorita. Sí, claro. Uh -huh. You watch the video. Uh -huh. Abajito del video aparece una pregunta, una oración incompleta y le aparecen tres opciones. Usted le va a dar clic a la que usted considera correcta. Ok. Según Abajito. lo que el video vaya como... como uh -huh. En el video ah. sale la respuesta, ¿verdad? Yes. Después uh -huh. de eso, cuando ya lo haya resuelto, le va a dar play de nuevo al video y se va a ir rapidito abajo donde dice video script. Lo que va a ir escuchando del video, el diálogo, está ahí escrito. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y luego se va back to culture videos. Ok. Now, what am I giving you? ¿Qué le estoy dando? I'm giving you uh, exercises that are going to help you with the pronunciation, with your listening, and with your reading. Ok. Uh -huh. You're going to get vocabulary on cultural stuff, everyday English, okay? Okay. Va a tener vocabulario de inglés de diario, okay? okay? That's gonna help you. You are in the level to understand that. Usted tiene el nivel para entender eso. But I recommend you one, one at a time, uno a la vez. Okay, mm -hmm. no se me va a emocionar, voy a ver diez, no. I want you one at a time because I need you to focus on new vocabulary, on pronunciation, que me acostumbre ese oído. Ok, teacher. Okay. Yes. It's going to help you. It's going to help you. Le, se lo recomiendo, le va a funcionar. Ok, teacher. Está bien. Mañana lo abro y lo voy, lo voy completando. Yeah, one at a time. Uno a la vez, o sea, tranquila. Mañana hace uno, pasado hace otro. I mean, the idea is for you to practice. This is an extra practice that I'm giving you. Es un ejercicio, una práctica extra que le doy. Está bien, teacher. A pleasure, Maria Teresa. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thanks Happy you. night. <laughs> Bye.
Well, thanks. Uh, 